Hi, my name is John Paul Raj and my mission is to make the learning of math fun. So if you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. On this video, we're going to learn how to find the equation of the line of regression. Let's get started. This particular question is from an IGCC textbook. It's a very standard uh, question where we have to find the equation of the line of regression. Uh, the two sets of data, uh, it's already given that there is some kind of a correlation, uh, uh, speed and petrol, and they've already given us that, you know, speed is X and uh, petrol is Y. And we are trying to find the equation that relates these two sets of data, bivariate data. So what we'll do is that we'll jump to our calculator where I've already entered the data. Speed in our question is represented as X and petrol in our question is represented as Y. So we are trying to find the equation uh, y in terms of x, the regression equation. So to do that, we go to menu, statistics, stat calculations, and there we had these two different options uh, for linear regression. Okay, so mx plus b, a, a plus bx. So be careful which one you use. Uh, what I mean by be careful is that uh, if you're using the first one, then obviously the slope is uh, m. If you're using the second one here, the slope is b. So sometimes, yeah, depending upon the question, sometimes the question specifies in a certain way. Uh, let's just use the first one, all right, mx plus b. Uh, and here we will say our x list comes from speed, all right, because x is represented as, uh, speed is represented as x, and the y list uh, should be petrol. Um, yes, and we this is, this is also uh, important. You can save the regression equation because after it generates, it'll say that's almost like assigning, uh, it'll save the regression equation to f1 and, um, then after that, it's pretty much the same. You can say the first results can be uh, displayed from C. The rest can remain as it is. Uh, and we hit OK, and there you go. We've got our results, and it's uh, pretty standard. We've got in the form MX plus B, because that's what we chose. Uh, so the value of M would be uh, the entire value is given here. That's just a rounded off value here. So you can see this negative 0 0.36, blah, 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 blah. And then the value of B, which is the y-intercept is 49.9. Uh, and again, the entire values there are square values also given and this may not uh, relate to this particular question But uh, if you're an IB student and you're watching this video, you've got the R square value the residuals are also given here uh, and um, The value of R is also given here uh, and just while we are at it. Uh, I'll just uh, insert a calculator page and uh, Here we go we are on the calculator page, you can make calculations because it was saved as F1, the regression equation was saved as F1. So I can just say F1 off. And it's since it's already in the memory of the calculator, we can just find the value of the petrol because petrol was Y. Part B said, find the petrol consumption of uh, uh, the car traveling at 45 miles per hour. And I can just say 45. And uh, when I hit control enter, it should give me the petrol consumption to be 33.6. And that's pretty cool because we've done the calculations here. We've not even brought the equation and the equation was saved to F1. And that's why it's so powerful that uh, we can just say F1. And then if you enter the value of X accordingly, you can calculate the value of Y, which in this case was the petrol. And so the petrol consumption for 45 uh, miles, for, uh, for the car traveling at 45 miles per hour, the petrol consumption was 33.6 miles per gallon. Make sure that you enter the uh, units correctly. So while we are at it, I'm just going to add a data statistics page uh, just to so show you something more. And that's uh, that's not the scatter plot, by the way. Okay, to get the scatter plot, uh, we can just go and assign the variables. And this is going to be speed along the x and uh, and petrol along the y. And that is your scatter plot, right? So each value will be denoted there uh, as per the values given in the question, all right? If you've entered it correctly. Uh, so the X values, um, speed rep was represented by X, petrol is represented by Y. I don't know why I'm saying this so many times because I just wanted to be making sure again and again. Uh, so that's your scatter plot. So in case you're looking for the scatter plot, and then if you want to see the, uh, the line of regression equation, uh, the line of regression that is, you can go on, uh, is it actions or analysis? Analyze and they, under number six, which says regression, make sure that you're choosing the right one. Okay, so if you used MX plus B, should be mx plus b and we've done that and that is the equation of the line of regression this equation is already there in the memory of the calculator as f1 but if you want to see the line of regression if the question required of you to draw the line of regression this is a good way to generate it and then compare it and actually you can do uh, something more you can even go down here and when you analyze uh, there's something called resi residuals can you see that number one and it'll also show you the resi residual squares this might not be so much for uh, IGCC, but perhaps IB students, you know, you can see the residual squares. 
All right, uh, let me just move this uh, label away from maybe here somewhere. So, and you can actually see the residual squares, all right? Um, and uh, we can even hide it. Let's just go and let's, um, residuals, I'm just going to hide that. But uh, what we can also do is uh, we can create a residual plot. Can you see that when you go on number seven residuals and you can say residual plot. And there you go right under that graph. And uh, this is the equation, I believe. Yeah, that's what's, yeah. So the equation of the regression uh, line is here. And that's the uh, regression line. This is the residual plot, okay? Uh, this is stacked uh, one or the other. If you want, you could just even have just one of them. So if I can just go here and uh, shut that thing down, hide the residual plot. I can just go on the along the y-axis and uh, change the y variable to stat resid. And just like that, I will get only the residual plot. And if, I, if I'm not happy with the uh, regression line and the residual plot, this is only the residual plot. Or if you just wanted the regression line, uh, so I think Pentrel comes back and that will be the regression line all by itself. Or if you want the stat option, you can just go and, uh, you know, unhide the residual plot again. So what we've seen is how we can find the equation of the line of regression, but it also generates other important statistics like R square, R residuals. And we also saw how we can uh, draw the uh, regression line. We can, I even showed you how we can find the residual plot if that is required. Uh, and uh, more importantly, how that regression equation is saved as F1 or F2, if there's something else in F1 and you can find the value. So in that sense, let's do the second part of that or the third part of that question, which was to estimate the speed of the car whose petrol consumption is 27 miles per gallon. Uh, speed uh, is X, uh, petrol is Y. I've said this like four or five times in this video already. So we are finding the value of X for a given value of Y. Uh, let's switch to the calculator. This is a calculator option. You don't need to use the graph here. So because F1 is already uh, in the memory of the calculator, remember? So I can just use and solve if I want. And uh, uh, if you look at the menu options that I have, this is a CAS uh, calculator, but I'm still going to go and use and solve. You may not be using the CAS uh, version there. So what I'm going to do is that I want to solve for Y. So F1 of, uh, I want to solve for X, sorry. F1 of X is equal to uh, 27. So when F1 is 27, what is the value of X? So solve for X. And when I hit control enter, I should get the value as 63.2, which means that the speed of the car is 63.2 miles per hour when the petrol consumption is 27 miles per gallon. If this video was useful to you, do let me know in the comments below. I'm going to see you all in the next video.